think all of us were really hopeful to be able to make the challenge of getting to the top of Big Bump Mountain. Um, but, you know, I think it was in the back of all of our minds about safety as well. Big Butt is the big mountain here. It's the one, there's an award here called the More Peaks Award. It's where you have to climb four peaks. So usually the, the trail has enough wear on it that you can sort of follow it and uh, gauge that you're going the right direction. We also had map and compass and we were checking that regularly to make sure that we were still heading in the general direction we wanted to go through. Uh, and at that point when the trail was pretty much um, gone. It was a matter of, okay, you know, what's the easiest path that we could find through the um, bushes and the briars and everything else that was up there. And I got the scratches on my legs to show it. Everybody's looking for blazes. We're all willing to listen and say, hey, we need to turn around. We need to go this way. This person, we're not all just charging ahead. We work together right. as a team. first started on the trail, it was around 6 a.m. We were at Foxfire and we hiked over to Swinging Bridge. So we were trying to figure out where the Swinging Bridge was because we couldn't really find it on our map. So we eventually just decided to wait across the river until we found the bridge. This is the first time we've crossed a river through wading. I know it was my first experience trying to carry a pack across water like that. So, you know, I was nervous, but you know, I think we push through that. And then we found the trail where we needed to go. That was probably the steepest ascent I've done with 50 plus pounds on a backpack. You want to make the ascent and you want to go, but can't leave people behind. Like Mr. Savage said, it's trail family. Yeah, we felt the weight a little more and stuff, so it was a little more, uh, eye-opening that like, oh yeah, we're gonna have all this extra, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds on each person to continue going to our next leg. Uh, but I think we were pretty uh, high-spirited yet because we knew we were gonna be able to drop most of the weight at some point to go with day packs through the rest of the way for our hike, so. It definitely felt better without the 40 pound packs. I think the viewpoint uh, was a nice kind of like celebratory area where we could look out and relax for a little bit and kind of like get ourselves mentally back in place together and in tune with each other so I think that was a nice aspect. From that point on there was a lot of bushwhacking ahead. We were on the trail for a bit then we lost the blaze. Is it really a trail? We don't even know at this point. If there's no blaze. <laughs> if there's no blaze you just like go the right direction. And the trail goes right across the feet. So we veer up and we're going to come to the power lines. probably within a little over an hour of getting to the top of Big Butt, but we also had a plan in place that we needed to be there by five o'clock. I think all of us were really hopeful to be able to make the challenge of getting to the top of Big Butt Mountain, um, but you know, I think it was in the back of all of our minds about safety as well and things like that because we were running behind schedule of what we were hoping for. Um, 
but kind of the, the energy of like our group and just the scouts we have, just, you know, they draw it. And... Big Butt really is just a lot of bragging rights. It has a funny name. It felt great being up at the peak because you know that all the hard climbing is done. We actually made it there, I think, by 512. At the top, we kind of lost our sleeves, so that happened. We moved really fast on the, on the way back. It definitely won't be forgotten soon. No, no.